Hi guys, today we're going to discuss Ignore MDEF, a stat that can greatly affect our magic damage output. This is true not only for Warlocks but also for other magic classes as well. Before we start, I would like to point out that in this video, we'll only focus on the PvE aspect. Okay, so how much do we really need? Is 100% enough? I think the consensus is to aim for more than 100%. More ignore equals more damage. This is also in line with Blueberry's statement uh, in one of our videos that starting in episode 5, new monsters will have higher defense. So we need uh, to have 100 plus ignore MDEF to deal full damage, maybe 150%. Uh, let's do some damage test to verify this statement. I'll be using my character that currently have 131% ignore MDEF using this set. Uh, we can remove the Sacri book and to have a 100% set. But um, as you can see, this Sacri book is enchanted and also teared up. Um, this will uh, increase our magic attack when equipped. So for the test, I will be using this extra Sacri book that doesn't have any int or magic attack enchant and also no tier. Okay, so when it is equipped, my ignore M def is 131% and magic attack is 12,443. It is not equipped. Ignore MDEF is down to 101%. And magic attack stays the same. 12,443. Okay, so... Episode 5 is when... Niflheim was introduced. So, for our damage test, our process will be to test on a... Niflheim mob, in this case Lud, using our 100% uh, ignore M def set first, then compare it, compare the results to a 130% ignore M def set. After that, let's also check if the results are the same on lower maps like Juno. First test against an uh, episode 5 mob, Lud, using 100% set. Uh, damage is 3,126,444. Let's try again. Okay, so the damage is 3,126,444. Now, using the 130%, ignore set. The damage increases to 3,603,050. Let's try again. Okay, so this confirms that more than 100% ignore MDEF is effective on episode 5 maps. Now for the lower map damage test, let's go to Juno. Uh, for the second set of tests, let's try our damage on Geographer. First, using a 100% set. The damage is, oops, I didn't see. The damage is 3,506,268. Let's try again. 3,506,268. Now let's equip Sacri Book. 
our ignore MDEF is up to 131%. Let's see if the damage is um, higher. Okay, as you can see, the damage stays the same. Let's try again. Hmm. The damage stays the same. So having more than 100% ignore MDEF doesn't increase our damage on lower maps. Um, our tests tests confirms that 100% ignore MDEF is effective up to Juno. But from Niflheim, you'll need more than 100% to deal full damage. Uh, what this means in MVP hunts is if you are only hunting up to Archangeling, 100% ignore MDEF is enough. But for higher MVPs in Niflheim and Rachel, uh, you will need uh, more ignore MDEF, maybe 150%. In terms of farming, if you're just farming in Culvert, Kobolds or Magma Dungeon having 100% ignore MDEF is enough and if you want to farm on the higher level maps like in Rachel, the Plain of Ida, Ice Cave and Rachel Underground it is advisable to have more than 100% um, Another takeaway here is that if you want to maximize your damage in PvE it is necessary to adjust your set accordingly instead of blindly aiming for 150% ignore MDEF Again, this only confirms the effect of ignore MDEF in PvE I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you for watching